Hi there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video of mine. Today's video is Mech Arena and we're going to be going through the hangar that I've currently got and possibly talking about improvements that I could be making or what I'm look where I'm looking to go with the improvements I want to make to the mechs in my deck and then we're going to be going in and we're going to be doing a control point clash and seeing if we can get the win out of it or if I lose miserably which does happen fairly frequently on this game but before we talk about that and do the game make sure you subscribe to the channel click the bell notification we are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers on this channel and you can be the person that helps me push ever closer to that figure so don't be a stranger click on the subscribe button that'll be awesome so I've got a new skin on my kill shot I've just unlocked this skin this legendary skin it looks pretty cool actually I've got to say I am liking it. it looks like a sort of a jet fighter spaceship sort of a design so we've got Rosa we have got and I'll tell you what I've unlocked as well but I haven't put it on yet because I haven't got afforded all the stuff javelin rack damage I've got somewhere here yeah I, at the top left hand corner you can see it's shaded out it's locked at the moment because I've got one on this character but there's a I've got a legendary javelin rack damage which I could put on but to remove it would cost 2,000 a coins to remove all the scrap parts and I, I think that's a little bit naughty really it's a little bit expensive so I've not done that yet may end up doing it eventually so that is that one then we've got the surge and the surge still has got the Disc Ultra 12 and 8. You can see together combined and kicking out 50,000 damage. And I've just done a little bit of improvement. I think I've got a little bit more on the Disc Launcher radius. Looking pretty good. But I do want to get surge up so that I can get the two Disc Launcher 12s on. Now, I'm due an upgrade on my Panther on the Carbine Weapon. I've just got to save up 200,000. I could use A-Coins for it, but I'd rather save up the money. If I can get another 89,000, I could upgrade the Carbines a little bit to level 4 or 7 on the 6 stars. Anyway. And then, I've done a little bit of an upgrade on the Mortars recently. So, the Fey Pilot with the Arachno is a little bit stronger. And then last, but probably my most powerful mech still, if I get it in the right place, it's probably my favourite mech actually at the moment, it's the Zephyr. 881 damage, two Arc Torrent 10s, not to be sniffed at, but you've got to get in the right place or you get annihilated. So without further ado, let's go in and do that match. And here we go. Control Point Clash, this is the one that's only got three control points. And I'm not three, sure, but I think it possibly two, one, there might not be any humans on here, which I prefer. I know that the AIs are really good, but it's the humans that usually are a little bit better than the AIs and, and then it's a real tussle. But I might be wrong. Looking at the names, it didn't look like any of them were ones that I knew. Oh. Look at that, he got me with that. Oh, we got him. That must be the human. There is a human on there. The Shay character is... is a human character. Whoa. Wow, and he got me with the mortars. That's a bit naughty. I might crack open the mortars myself now to see if I can counteract. I need to stay out of sight though because otherwise I'm going to get hit by mortars myself. So we're looking for Shay. And what? That is crazy. It just made stuff up. That's how I got to try with. I hate it when it does that. The mortars, it doesn't. So you don't, you know, just crazy, crazy. I got a kill. Need to get around. Oh no! Got into the AI. Got to me out. I was the mortar was coming overhead. The AI, the mixture of the both. Okay, now we're gonna have to try and push forward. This the mortar is just gonna keep me at bay. I can't do anything about it. The mortar's gonna get me. I'm just getting pinned back by the mortars. 
See, I told you when there's a human person on the other side, you're really in trouble, and I am really in trouble. I can't even get out of my own zone. What is my character there doing? My character there is doing nothing at all, except for getting me killed. Now I'm, gonna have to, I'm never going to get out of this. I'm never going to get out of this. But mortar comes over, I am in super trouble. I'm just going to push. He's trying to get me the mortars again. I think, hopefully, I've dodged them. Oh no, there's two mortars coming in. Oh, it did a lot of damage. Oh, here we go. Can I get in? Seems like he's getting a lot of shots off of those. Uh oh, now I'm in trouble. And then what? It's just making up stuff. I can't believe it. It's doing the mortars and it's saying there's no mortar coming overhead. And then you just blow up for no reason whatsoever. And who even is this guy, this APT guy? He wasn't do he wasn't playing for half the match, and now I've lost every single mech. It'd be interesting to see the stats at the end of this match. We better let it just run through. Which doesn't usually happen, I don't usually mech out. But I just got so pinned back by the mortars, and it had that glitch where you don't know the mortars coming at you until you explode. And then it says you got mortared. And that is one of the most annoying glitches in the game. They still haven't fixed it yet. See, everyone's just getting destroyed. This guy's probably gonna have like 20 kills with the mortar because because he's un he's un unstoppable basically. Just a few more, and then it's all over, and then we can see the stats and see exactly what happened in this match, why it was such a one-sided affair. 12 kills, and who's these other players? I didn't even see the other players. This Mooney's guy didn't even see him. Total, total carnage. And let's just see. Yeah, 12 kills. And I had four kills and just couldn't... Those those invisible mortars again. So annoying. But anyway, I don't know if you... Maybe you enjoy watching me getting absolutely annihilated on the game. Either way, make sure you smash that like button. That'd be super awesome. Shout out to my channel, Dominic Kevin Percy. And as always, if you help grow this channel to 25,000 subscribers and beyond, make sure you share today's video. Feel free to check out what's coming along shortly. Bye for now.